So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I, I really, really appreciate y'all and I appreciate everybody who watches uh, the videos. Um, before we get talk about Angelo Blackson, we're going to talk about him in a minute. Um, I had to tell y'all something that happened to me literally just yesterday. Me, my wife, and Carter, we were at a random party city down here. Random party city because I had to return something. And we get to the register and the guy, he takes some stuff and he's looking at me. He's like, I know you. I said, I said, you don't know me. He's like, no, I I know you. And then he paused for a second, and he was like, Engraven Vids, thanks for the videos that you made. And I was like, wow. I, I said, I, I appreciate that. And he was like, man, he said, I, when I was a lot younger, he was like, you were the, the first person that I had subscribed to on YouTube. And that was just special, man. It, it, it was really, really special. Uh, somebody at a random party city, uh, just, and we just so happened to be returning something. We were running to somebody who uh, supported the channel. So I, I really appreciate that. So shout out to Jalen. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you very, very, very much um, for watching the video. But that, that, that was just real special to me yesterday, man. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Ravens. The Ravens who have continued to be busy uh, this offseason. Today, uh, they announced that they signed a defensive tackle, Angelo Blackson. Now, I know a lot of Ravens fans, uh, including myself, have expected them to make a move like this, uh, maybe like at edge, like an outside linebacker, edge guy. I know a lot of people have talked about uh, Leonard Floyd. That's been a lot of a name that a lot of people have brought up. Uh, me, myself, y'all know I'm a Jadavian Clowney guy. It was funny. Somebody had even... Um, the other day on Twitter, they been they, they were like engraving. You you've been trying to get your Davian Clowney on the Ravens for like five years, and yeah, I have been. It's been a while. It's been a long campaign, and we're gonna see if that campaign ends up being successful this off season. But I ain't holding out hope. But um, and then there's some people who want the Ravens to bring back uh, Justin Houston. Uh, but this move, this move was a bit of a surprise. Um, because maybe it's just for more depth. Uh, because when you look over the course of uh, Angelo Blackson's career, he spent his time uh, with a couple of different teams. Uh, he started off in 2015 with the Tennessee Titans, and you know they they know about some D line play over there. Um, spent two years there, then spent three years stayed in the AFC South because he went to the Houston Texans uh, from 2017 to 2019, uh, and then he spent time with the Cardinals in 2020. Uh, and then uh, 2021 and 2022, uh, he was with the Chicago Bears. Now, uh, looking throughout the course of his career, looks like late, the second half of his career, because he's been playing for eight years. Uh, the first four years of his career, it says he was just a D tackle. It's a defensive tackle, nose tackle. Um, but when you look at the last four years of his career, it, looked like the, it's, the, it started with the Texans. They moved him to defensive end. Uh, the Cardinals, they moved him to nose tackle. Uh, but then with the Chicago Bears, last year, or two years ago, he was a defensive end. Uh, and then last year, it just says he was a D lineman. So probably a little bit of, a little bit of everything. So this may be somebody that for the Baltimore Ravens, um, if, if he's on the team, then he'd be somebody that could do a couple of different things for the Ravens. But I expect it to, to just really be, uh, right now at least, just another body for camp, um, just another body for like OTAs and stuff like that and, and getting ready for camp and all that. Um, yeah, because I, 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 I wouldn't expect him to be like, oh, yeah, this is going to be the guy that turns things around for the Ravens. I, I really wouldn't even expect him to get too much opportunity uh, because the Ravens, they have they have a good amount of defensive linemen. Not that they have like this plethora or anything like that. But they have Michael Pierce, who I, I forget about a lot of times that he's there. Um, because I, when I think about Ravens defensive linemen, the first one I think of, I think of Travis Jones, uh, Broderick Washington, Justin Matabike. But I, I forget that Michael Pierce is there. And I think that's because last year, how last year went for Michael Pierce. Because y'all remember, first game of the season. First game of the season. He had been looking good, too. It was like, all right, Michael Pierce, we got let's go. First game of the season. That was it. Mm. And I think that's probably why I forget about Kyle Fuller a lot, too. I know he's not on the team anymore, but he was another victim of the first game of the season against the Jets at that stadium, that field that has been rough for a lot of people, not just the Ravens. 
Um, so I, I remember that, I know a lot of Ravens fans are like, man, can we move the game against uh, who was it against the Giants last year? I think they like, no, nah, we don't want to go back there because that was rough. But anyway, um, so Ravens got they they got some guys uh, on that defensive line. Um, they just drafted the rookie uh, defensive end. I cannot remember his name right now. My my apologies. I, I, I'm really sorry for that. But they drafted him too. So and I, they brought back Brent Urban as well. So they got a veteran there too. Am I missing anybody? I know I probably am, but I know that since y'all are so great and y'all memories are much better than mine's, that yeah, y'all will put in the comments whoever it is that I'm missing. And it ain't no offense to them. My my memory just y'all know how it goes. Uh, so yeah, man, this is just to me this this screams depth. Depth, 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 depth. Um, when you look at his production, um, over even before, let, but before you even get to the production, let's look at uh, how he started. Because his his rookie year, his his first two years actually, uh, he started both sixteen and thirteen games in twenty fifteen and twenty sixteen, um, and then. No, excuse me. No, no, no. That's how many games he played, and I was looking at it wrong. Uh, he didn't start any games in 2015 and 2016. Um, and then 2017, he started one game. 2018, he started four games. 2019, uh, for the Texans, he started 15 games. So that was the most that he started. Uh, but then after that, for the Cardinals, he started nine in 2020. And then in 2021, for the Bears, he started eight. 2022, for the Bears, he started four. So... There's a little bit of starting experience recently, though. No, it it really hasn't been any. So I'm I'm sure he will. Um, I'm sure it, again. That's why it's expected that this is just a move for depth, for depth. That's it. So I know um a lot of Ravens fans want something else right now. And may, hey, maybe you'll still get it. We don't know. We'll see. Because it's for this move. It's not a guarantee that. He makes the roster. He could. He could because I remember last year thinking that about, um, who was it, uh, Stephen Means. Stephen Means. Um, I was thinking like, okay, well, I don't, I don't know if he's going to make the roster. And he ended up making it. I think, did they, had they signed him to the practice squad? And then they just activated him on game day? I forgot how, how it was with Stephen Means, but he, that was another victim of uh, week one. I'm pretty sure Stephen Means went out week one too. Because they signed him and pass rusher. And I'm like, man, what was crazy about Steven Means, and I ain't even saying this as a joke or nothing, but I remember seeing him in preseason. He was slow. He was very slow. But this man was getting to the quarterbacks. He was getting, I don't know how he was getting there, but he was getting there. So it's like, hey, slow or not, if you get into the quarterbacks, do your thing. We happy for you. So then we was like, all right, what? Well, and he ended up, well, yeah, I think, again, I think he got signed to the practice squad, I believe, and then activated on that first game day, but I, I don't remember 100%. But then that first week of the season, boom, his season was over too. So, yeah, man, that's how it goes. But anyway, appreciate y'all, man. Um, thank you all, as always. Again, special shout-out to, to, to Jalen uh, for, for having watched the video. I don't know if he's still watching now, but either way, it, it's okay. I, I did really, really appreciate that. That was really... Um, it's just humbling, man, because you, know, you you never know who's watching, um, and yeah, you never know <laughs> when you could end up seeing them somewhere. It's just some random place that you would never expect. Uh, but I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all having a really, really great day, and we out.